guys, in this After Effects tutorial we are, going to create this. My time, my time now. My time, my time. This is Adobe After Effects. Create a new composition, I'm calling it as main, I'm going with 1920 by 1080, frame rate 60 fps, make it 12 seconds long then click on OK. Let's create a solid layer, right click, new, solid, I'm calling it as reflection, then click on OK. Select solid layer, go to effects, and preset, search for fractal noise, double click on it to apply on the layer. Now change fractal type to max, noise type to spline. Open transform uncheck uniform scaling, set width to 400, and height to 600. Make sure you are at first frame. Add a keyframe on contrast, evolution, and offset turbulence. Change contrast value to 10, brightness value to 10. Go to 6 seconds. Change evolution to 270. Offset turbulence X value to minus 460. and contrast to 260 press U to see all keyframes set complexity to 1 now you will have this kind of movement now double click here to import your logo I'm using this spider logo in PNG format Download link is in the description. Drag and drop your logo to timeline, and reduce the scale value. And adjust the position like this. Now select logo and pre-compose it. Select reflection and reduce the scale value. Then pre-compose it. If your track mat isn't available here, then switch between the modes. Change track mat to alpha mat. Open reflection comp. Press T on your keyboard, go to 6 seconds. Add a keyframe, go some frames forward then make opacity to 0. Switch back to main comp. Select reflection comp, go to effects, and presets, search for CC glass. Double click on it to apply on the layer. Open surface, change the bump map to your logo, set softness to 20 and height to 30. Open shading, set ambient to 0, diffuse to 0, specular to 100, roughness to 0.5. Now we will add light animation to it. Open light, make sure you're at first frame, then add a keyframe on light height, make it 10%. Go to 5 seconds and change it to 100%. Let's add a color effect on it. Go to first frame, add keyframe on light color, go to 1 seconds change the color to dark blue. Press U to see all keyframes, go some frames forward, again change the color to dark reddish pink.
then again change the color to white. Now duplicate the logo comp. Go to 5 and half seconds. Add a keyframe on opacity make it 0. Go some frames forward, then set opacity to 100%. Now import the background image, download link is in the description. Drag and drop your background image to the timeline. Press T on your keyboard add a keyframe make it 0%. Go some frames forward then make opacity to 100%. Now your background image will appear like this. Select logo comp, and apply the drop shadow effect on it. Make opacity to 100%, distance to 17 and softness to 30. Go to around 7 seconds then add a keyframe on direction make it 0 degree. Go some frames forward and make it 180 degrees. Now you will have drop shadow effect like this. Let's create a null object, right click new, select null object, now select all the layers except the background image and pan it to null one. Go to first frame, add a keyframe on scale make it 70%. Go around 6 seconds, and set the scale value to 100%. Now you will have a zoom in effect like this. Select all the layers and pre-compose it. Now I'm importing some lightning footages, download link is in the description. Adjust the footages as shown. Duplicate the footage. Now add a fill effect on it. And set the fill color to bright yellow. Now copy this fill effect and apply it on the other two footages. Open final pre-comp. And set another opacity keyframe. Go to around 10 seconds and make opacity to 0%. Let's add a new text layer. Align it to middle. I'm using this font, download link is in the description.
make the text 3D. Press P and add a keyframe. And reduce the Z position to a higher number. Go some frames forward then increase the Z position. Then turn on motion blur on this layer. Now you will have this kind of animation. Let's create another text layer. and apply the fade up characters effect on it. Press U to see the keyframes. Go to end of your timeline set the start value to 100%. Your title animation is ready, press 0 to ramp review. Thanks for watching this tutorial, subscribe for more videos.